speak up more. Well, so just um, motion me if there's something I should or should not be doing. Right. And we right. can also like edit anything. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Everyone's picking up very well <laughs> over here. Great. We're oh, good. Great. Good. <laughs> good. Yes. Good. All right. Phone hello, hello. Hello. off. Okay. Aaron, timer ready. ready? Oh wait. Oh. Are we um, introduction? How do we want to yeah. present this? Yeah. yeah you got can you okay. go ahead? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. and Joan. Yes. Your last name. Ooh. Just as it's spelled, Rogliano. Rogliano. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then, can I just do your the bullets from your LinkedIn? Is that? Do you want me to do that? I don't even know what to do. Divorce real estate expert. Divorce. Uh, let's see. Create a uh, divorce strategist. Mm -hmm. Um, leader of a support group called the Wildflowers. Author and a speaker on divorce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Yes. Good. Okay. All of the above. Thank okay, you. For great. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll do a little introduction and then we'll go for it. <laughs> and probably is forty-five minutes all right? Forty-five minutes. I'm here That's for cool. whatever you all need. Right, cool. All right. All right. Ready? Go. Hey, everybody! Hey. <laughs> we are back in the studio, and today we are honored to have Joan Rogliano. And uh, Joan is a divorce real estate expert. She uh, understands divorce and knows that it takes a team to get through it. She is uh, an expert on strategy, as well as Joan leads a divorce support group called The Wildflowers. And she's an author and a speaker. So welcome, Joan. Thank you. Welcome. This energy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we do dances oh, yeah. and we oh, have we, we have dance. music. Ma yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get so. it going. Yep. We do. We yeah. really do. And we're really glad you're in the studio I with know. us. A lot yes. of times we yes. have Colin. So um, this is just so fun to actually be able to sit next to you. Yeah, <laughs> and give you a hug beforehand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, and a hug on the way out. I think it's it great. makes such a difference. You just pick up on body language mm -hmm. and energy yep. of other people. It, I think it makes for a um, kind of a more intimate conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. I asked Amy if you were a hugger before we got here. Oh, and I was like, yeah. is she a hugger? And I was like, because I want a hugger. So, <laughs> Aaron yeah. is a big time <laughs> hugger. Uh -huh. yeah. It's a must. Yeah. That's great. It is a must. Well, we're really happy that you're here and hope to really take this conversation about um, divorce and the importance of connection. So a lot of our listeners know that I am going through a divorce right now, and I guess people don't know that, um, can I call myself a wildflower? Absolutely. Yes. Forevermore. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Once a wildflower, always a wildflower. Yay. Oh. <laughs> so I was lucky enough to go to um, a recent wildflower event and learned from Joan and learned from a whole bunch of people sitting at my table and connected with women, you know, going through or who have already been through the process and, um, you know, learned about fashion. That was very That's fun. Right. My yes, pop. You got your pop. <laughs> I noticed yeah. that. Absolutely. And after Amy went to that workshop, she came in and she's like, oh my gosh, I learned about pop. Check this out. <laughs> and then every time we'd see her afterwards, she had some sort of pop, lipstick, yes. belts. And then and then it, uh, it bled over to Erin, right. our, our big fashionista <laughs> right. in the group. She, yes. she started wearing yeah. uh, leopard flats. And I <laughs> haven't been able, because it's been cold, so I yeah. haven't had them on. But I will. Put them Spring is coming. Yeah. She's Spring like, um, <clears throat> yeah. oh, I even got a friggin' um, leopard belt to go to I put know my you did. And I was so, I know. Come yeah, so, so you're cool. reached. That's a big deal. You're, you're reached, reached, Joan. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joan. You are helping my us all. Pleasure. Hey, that's what we're Yes. That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we are just um, thrilled to have you and talk about the importance of connection because I know personally and I know you do too that um, going through this tumultuous time, I have found that connection and um, has really carried me through it. So, and I depend on it daily. Well, you know, the first thing that women say when I speak with them is, I feel so all alone. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. My family's trying to help me, my business associates, so on and so forth, but nobody gets it. Mm -hmm. They're all just telling me to get better, feel better, it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. But when I come to Wildflower Group, I feel really safe mm -hmm. yeah. because you guys get this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And not yeah. even all of us have been through it. They just... Um, 
people that are affiliated with Wildflower Group just to understand that divorce is a really different animal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other thing that women say is, and this threw me at first, guys, that we'd be having an event and a woman would come up to me and say, you know, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Mm. Mm. She just started the process. And then the next breath she'd say, but will you put me on a committee? <laughs> I, 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 need to, I need to help somebody. <laughs> no, wait, well, wait right. a minute. But that's also ingrained in us, is it not? We it, and it's healing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. you know this better mm-hmm. than I, Erin. Mm-hmm. That to help other people is really healing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we have wildflowers that have been divorced twenty something years, mm. have never been divorced, mm. or just going through it, mm. or thinking about it, but they don't. They don't feel as though they're ready to take that step. Mm-hmm. And so it's just this huge community of women supporting other women. And we do have men that support us as well. Mm -hmm. Because divorce is one degree of separation. Everybody's Mm -hmm. got their story. You know Mm -hmm. somebody Mm -hmm. if you haven't Mm -hmm. been through it yourself. So Mm -hmm. yes, we welcomed you with open arms. And then I also, I wrap up my initial conversation with a wildflower by saying, you know, you understand you you will never be alone again. Oh, Mm -hmm. it's so good. Oh, it's so good. oh my we, gosh, Joan! We, we, it, that's it gives amazing. It's amazing. After fourteen yeah. years, but this is this is what is needed right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, the women that I sat with at the table, you know, one of them had been a wildflower for a long time, and she reached out to me a few times directly. And then there was another woman who I was sitting next to who was new as well, and she and I have texted every now and then and there is a real feeling I mean every time I mean we've been able to communicate because of the podcast and scheduling but every time the you know newsletter comes through or a post comes through on the blog and I see bloom on I just feel like yes okay okay I got this like I can it's just one more little piece of Mm -hmm. encouragement to Mm kind of keep me keep me going so yeah, well great I'm mm-hmm. so glad and it was just so wonderful to meet you mm-hmm. and I, I can't even remember how we first connected I think I went right up to you <laughs> <laughs> sounds about right oh, no. <laughs> but did you read about us online or did I someone had been refer you I always ask yeah no I had been researching uh, like divorce good. support mm-hmm. groups because I don't have a ton of um super close friends who have been through it Mm -hmm. and the friends that I do have actually a few of them are in Minnesota so back in the Midwest and so I was like oh my god like I gotta I gotta find a support group Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know like I need someone and so I was just I don't know, looking online and yeah. found the wildflowers. And then that event happened. Right. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. It's not like an actual like support group where you go and, you know what I mean? Like yes. there were some of them that, was organ- that were organized by therapists, but uh-huh. I already had my own therapist. And I was like, I got to just meet other women, I think. Well, so. I'm so glad you did. And I want to tell you a quick little story about oh. how far reaching this is and what how we as women connect with one another. Um, I was in Africa over the summer, and one of the drivers that I had didn't know me. I didn't know her. She knew nothing about me. And she's driving me to the airport, and she just had gotten a raise at work. She was so excited about because this was in a country that the unemployment rate was at 80%. And she's telling me about how her ex-husband, who asked her for a divorce because the grass was greener for him, had come back into her life and decided he wanted to get back together with her Mm -hmm. because she had just gotten this wonderful promotion. Mm -hmm. And she's so proud. And she said, and you know what I did, Joan? I said to him, you see that door you came in? Don't let it hit you on the way oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> but the point being, the point being, divorce is just, we are now um, communicating with women in over 100 countries. Wow. So it's just everywhere. We're, yeah. we're, you're not alone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. a huge community. Yeah. Well, and I was thinking, you know, in all these areas of life, you have a ceremony or you have a, you know, it's like if someone 
um, when someone's born or if people, you know, baptize them, they, they might do that. Or then you get married and you, you know, you have this big wedding or, you know, you like milestone markers, milestone markers. Yes. Yeah. You, someone passes away, you have a, a gathering, you, but I don't know. I anniversary parties, like there's so much, but, um, and I mean, you know, divorce for me, it ha- um, is very sad, you know, it was very hard. Mm -hmm. Um, At the same time, I can look back even now and know, like, it's going to be okay. This Mm -hmm. is totally going to be okay. Maybe even, you know, everyone will end up better or whatever. But um, why isn't there, like, a milestone marker for that next chapter? Because I do feel like it's such a, like, hushed thing, Mm -hmm. too. Well, to let you know, it is changing, and it... Is, it looks different for everybody, and there's no judgment. I was buying a new phone the other day. The woman who was helping me was telling me about her 25-year-old best friend who had just gotten a divorce, and they had a huge bash for her. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It was a divorce. Now party. a divorced party. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Mm-hmm. So you, you can do there that. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, want to do that. Yeah, no I think judge. we should do that. I think so. I was thinking like that's great when that thing when those vapors yeah. go through, we're having a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That well, all right, let's do it. That's okay. right. <laughs> well, and the thing too about and divorce, Joan, you're it, invited. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. It's 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 always fluid. You know, mm-hmm. some days you'll feel like having a party, and other days you just want to sit quietly mm-hmm. and read Very a book. true. Mm-hmm. So see very how, true. See how you're feeling. Yes, mm-hmm. good advice. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Let's not plan yet. Yeah. <laughs> go big or go home. That's what we all yeah. like to do. So good. Yeah. Pump the brakes. Thanks, Joan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, Joan, tell us how, how this all got started for you. Well, I went through a divorce what, almost 20 years ago now, and I've been a realtor for all that time. And a lot of my former clients were contacting me saying, we're getting a divorce. The house has to go. Hmm. So I would go with my listing agreement, and um, usually the woman would be very emotional, in tears, and I'd say, Anna, why are are we doing this? Why are you going to sell this house when obviously it's not something you want to do? And she would share with me that she was, in my words, being bullied and intimidated and told she had no choice. Mm. And this happened time after time after time, and... I thought, you know, there's a message here. I need to start doing something with this message I'm getting because so many of my clients were experiencing the same thing. So I started doing divorce in your home workshops for free Mm. and just said what all these women need, because usually the woman wants to keep the home, is education because education is powerful. And Mm -hmm. if I can help them to keep their home because that's what they want to do, it changes the whole dynamic (laughs) of the divorce within their life, which there is a trickle-down effect in divorce when the parents are in conflict and struggling, what happens to the children? Mm. So it was looking at this big picture, so I started doing these workshops, um, got a lot of press. Women would come, and they would literally slink in and not make eye contact with me or anybody else in the room. And then they'd walk out with their head held high Mm -hmm. saying, I just met met Anna, and this was really cool. And so we want to get together again next month. And I'd Mm. say, oh, okay. Well, (laughs) I don't have any more events planned, but I started planning events. Mm. And so we would meet every other month, and then it grew and grew and grew. And I had people coming who were happily married. I had couples coming simply because they liked the events we were Mm. doing. And everyone had been touched by divorce in Mm -hmm. one form or another, Mm -hmm. and they wanted to support what we were doing. And that became Wildflower Group. Mm -hmm. And that was 14 years ago. Wow. And does the name, how would you come up with the name, or is there significance? It was a must-do because we're about women growing and blossoming and, and, and that really is a tremendous visual that when women come to us, I liken it to that they are seeds literally oh. underground and they, they can't sometimes even get their head up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. above the surface. Mm-hmm. And then you watch them grow in so many oh different ways. Mm-hmm. And, and wildflowers are different. Mm-hmm. They're all different. Oh, yeah. They're survivors. They're beautiful. 
and oftentimes they grow where they're planted. So it just kind of fits. Wow. So you can be any kind of wallflower you want. I'm an Indian paintbrush. (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking about Queen Anne's lace. Go for it. (laughs) There you go. I'll call you Queenie from now on. (laughs) (laughs) Queenie. Perfect. Oh, that is so great. And what a gift for women around the world and men. And I mean, you know, it's just. So are there, there are meetups all over the world or how does that? We're just communicating at this point. Oh, okay. um, Online. And we have tons of resources on our website, wildflowergroup.net. Okay. The intent being, particularly no matter where you are in the United States, divorce laws differ Mm. state Mm -hmm. by state Mm. but there are some generic things or you can take a resource we have or a site we have for Colorado and look for that site in Minnesota Mm -hmm. for example Mm -hmm. Um, it's just getting education out there because we know education is empowering Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and women are so timid unfortunately in this given situation they they have to find their voices and mm-hmm. they do that by getting together with other women mm-hmm. and and if we all put our voices together that's how we implement change mm-hmm. 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 Good. <sighs> connection moment right power there. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is good stuff and you have your um the your book that you wrote did i read was it published in 2017 is that yes. right? You've done your homework. Yes, <laughs> it was published in 2017. Yeah. And that was born from my real estate. It's called um, Your Keys to Moving On, A mm. Guide to Navigating Divorce in the Marital Home. And um, that was created from stories of my clients, mm. the questions that they had. I wanted to get all this information out, so if I don't talk with a person Personally, they can pick up the book and read what their choices are and how to decide what to mm-hmm. do in any given situation. Hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's and where can s- where can people find that? It's on Amazon. It's okay. in bookstores. It's everywhere. Mm-hmm. That's everywhere. awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good yeah. reads. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. That's great. And so you must really see how people connect to their home. Like that. Mm-hmm. Like the home is just so much so much more than, or can be, I guess, so Mm -hmm. much more than a structure or an an asset in the marriage or whatever. That's chapter one in my book. Ah. (laughs) Uh 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 And and I mentioned that, and thank you for mentioning that, because even in a generic real estate transaction, home is very emotional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for most people, it is the largest financial asset that they have. Mm -hmm. And for most people, outside of the children, it's the most emotional decision they're going to make of mm. what to do with the marital home. And most women in particular, and have, I've had some men too who want to keep the home for that continuity, mm-hmm. for themselves, mm. you know, the familiarity, their neighborhood, um, and for the children. They don't want to uproot the kids from mm-hmm. their school, from their friends, so on and so forth. And so it's... Um, we work really hard to help them to figure out how to how to keep it if that's what their goal is and it's what the family's goal is Mm. it's not about us it's about them Mm -hmm. because that will diffuse a lot of the conflict and the stress this family is feeling Mm -hmm. because with those women frequently they say where am i going to live oh my gosh he just filed for divorce, or I'm filing. What? Where am I going to live? Where am I going to be? Because you need that um, kind of that base from which to operate. Mm-hmm. And once they know, you know, they're going to stay here, or no, they're going to sell and rent, or you know, whatever their choice is, it diffuses a lot of what they're feeling, and they can then think more clearly to make informed decisions about other other things. Because as you know there are a lot of dis- life decisions. A lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you yeah. have to do it right the first time because you can go back, and most d- divorces do experience post-divorce decree litigation, mm. unfortunately, because that is extremely expensive, and it is usually not successful. So you want to do it right the first yeah. time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, so are you familiar with nesting? Yes. <laughs> I knew you were going to I was, gonna, I I was actually thinking about, about that, too. Oh. Yeah. yeah. 
I participated in nesting over the summer. Can you tell the audience about it, just in case they're not familiar with it? Oh, okay, yeah. So for some people going through a divorce, they do want the um, continuity for the kids. And so the kids stay in, in the marital home, and then the parents move in and out or not move but I mean like they're they spend their time with the children in the home so it's like a rotation (coughs) and um I participated in that for gosh probably three months or so good for you (laughs) best time of your life (laughs) (laughs) it was so difficult and I did not have, like, a stable place to go when I was not at mm. the home. And, um, you know, did some... Just couch surfing. Couch surfing. Mm. Woof. It was really... <clears throat> that was very challenging for me. And I feel for any woman who has to go through that. And I, it just makes me think about how you said, once you have... Once you know, like, where where am I going to go or how is this going to work, um, it was a huge relief. You know, I ended up finding my own home and renting, and um, it it was so – it was such a game changer mm-hmm. knowing yeah. where my space would yeah. be. And then um, – Your energy totally shifted, too. Ener- yeah. Like, it went from – like, you started yeah. – acting or, or coming across as more empowered and there was hope i feel like yeah mm-hmm. it that. was like a total shift yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so interesting well yeah. and you tried that because mm-hmm. i understand that can be really great for the kids but it takes a certain kind of relationship between the mother and the father mm-hmm. going through this divorce which is very very rare that they can collaborate on that level and work in tandem to create this kind of scenario mm-hmm. environment for the kids but oh, I'm glad that you are settled me I too it does make a huge difference yes yeah it was it, it's a huge difference and huge difference you know the kids and it's just it's a good setting or good situation now hey good. Amy if yeah. you had to do it again would you do nesting or no I would not. Oh, okay. I don't think so. But at the same time, it's hard to um, – what I would really love to do is I would really love to start something where <laughs> – I think I've told you yeah. both about this idea. But to start a home for women who are nesting so that they could mm-hmm. have a place that is stable and comfortable and safe to go to um, – Because I don't, you know, like for me, I don't know exactly what the other option would have been at that time. Mm -hmm. And again, like I didn't have the education. So so much of a transition. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, um, yeah, I just don't know. It's actually, it's, that's a good question, Anna, because I don't know how I would, I actually don't know Mm -hmm. the answer to it. I don't know. I know it's really difficult for really, um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> good. But that's a great idea too, because I think there'd yeah. be a market mm-hmm. for that. I do too. Oh yeah, a place for women to yeah, go. and just like a, a s- you know a bedroom and a bathroom that's clean and mm-hmm. comfortable mm-hmm. and safe and safe is an operative word. Yeah, mm-hmm. too, yes, because that that is something that really enters this whole dynamic of divorce and women saying yeah. that they don't feel yeah. safe frequently. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this also goes to the whole concept of having a divorce strategy mm. from the get-go. Mm-hmm. And this is what most women aren't aware of. Oh, you mean I can create a plan? You mm. mean I can have goals? Mm. Mm. I just had the blinders on and my intent was, man, I'm going to power through this. I want yeah. this over with. Mm-mm. No, we suggest you take a deep breath. And I, my mantra for 15 years has been divorce takes a team. Mm-hmm. And you need this team of advocates, professionals around you working on your behalf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so if you can get uh, a conversation going with a woman early enough to say, well, what's your strategy? And then they say, well, you know, I, gee, I don't know. I'm just putting one foot in front of the other. 
And usually you'll find that the attorneys um, have not even explained the divorce process to them. Mm. So mm. they don't even know, well, this happens and that happens and that happens. They're just kind of flying blind. Oh, well, my attorney said do this or you know, she told me to do that. Well, you have to be informed and educated so you can advocate for yourself. I've had women say, well, you know, they'll explain a situation to me and I'll say, well, my suggestion is that I'm not, I'm not sure that this is the right attorney for you. You might mm. consider some alternatives. Mm. And they'll look at me and say, oh, you mean I can fire my attorney? Mm. Well, this is how basic right. it gets. Well, of course, you, your attorney works for you. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they don't even understand that because they're so overwhelmed. And I know mm -hmm. I was there. It's a little crazy. And it is uh, just being in the space with you. I, I'm thinking, like, this is such a good great thing for you because your energy is so calm i feel oh like gosh. so calm because in therapy we talk about like the strongest yeah. nervous system in the room wins and so uh. your nervous system is so calm and so i was thinking about like <laughs> just how overwhelming it was when you went were going through the initially mm -hmm. and that if that you're would be such a beacon so oh my god i appreciate yeah. well, the work that you're you doing for that yeah I, I really appreciate that but this is a result of me personally having had you know i burned yeah. through five attorneys right <laughs> right i mean it right. took me yes. a lot to get to this place and then again you say well, what am I going to do with all of mm -hmm. this? If this happened to me, who else is it happening mm -hmm. to? And what are we going to do about right. it? Right. Also, right. Yeah. Here we are, and this is mm -hmm. what we're doing. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So, uh, so you have mentioned that, like, so many women just don't even know the idea of, like, having a divorce strategy. What do you think that's attributed to, like, just not, like, talking about it? Or, or like, there's kind of a shame, you know, around mm -hmm. the idea of divorce. Is that... Part of it? Well, we were talking a little bit about this before we went okay. on the air that you were saying that, that I, I don't know if stigmatization I might have been in the is bathroom. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe it were. Maybe it were. Because we, we, yeah, we did yeah. touch on this, and, and it's changed a lot, but it's still there. I guess there's shame, embarrassment, a sense of mm -hmm. failure, grieving. I mean, there's so many, and Erin, you, you can speak mm -hmm. to this much better mm -hmm. than I, things that go hand in hand with a divorce. But women, um, I, I would liken it to all the women that have come to us, I don't care, over the 14 years. It, it doesn't matter how successful they are in their career, how much money they have, what they look like, what they're, um, you know, where they're living. They, for the most part, feel about, and I'm, motioning you know they're an inch high mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they have been somewhat beaten down mm. over and over and over again um, and this is not male bashing there's some really terrific men out there but this is the role that women kind of fit into and then they get um, connected <coughs> excuse me with a with a divorce legal provider and they're frequently beaten down even a little mm -hmm. bit more if it's not really a good fit. Mm. So it takes a lot to shore them up. And, you know, they're that underground seed that they can't even poke their head up because they're, um, they're f so frightened. And women take, on average, about a 41% financial reduction in their posi financial position economically. Mm. Wow. They're undergoing a really difficult situation. In five out of six cases, the woman gets primary custody of the kids. So what is her stress level? And mm -hmm. she's going to be experiencing a huge financial hit. Where is she going to be living? How is this going to affect her in all these different ways? And she's got this tremendous um, responsibility, particularly if there are kids around. Uh, involved and the, a demographic where you really see this also is in the boomer demographic mm -hmm. people 50 plus the divorce rate has doubled for them oh. in the last 20 years and yeah. those 65 plus it has tripled wow so you're at this stage in life hmm. And you thought you were going to retire well now you're finding because there were financial disclosures involved there are no assets mm. because oftentimes women are not paying attention to the financial mm. aspect of a marriage. You know, they're, quote, leaving it all to him. Um, and so there are just so many faces 
involved with this, but there is this common thread that for the most part, women are bullied and intimidated and do not have the voice, do not have the vision of what they should be doing and what they're entitled to, what their legal rights are, what mm. their financial rights mm. are. So it's all about education. That was a really long answer, but it's, it's really, really yeah. Uh, there, uh, there are a lot of factors involved, but it was a really excellent question because it's very, very true. And the um, divorces with the boomers, mm -hmm. is that a new stat? And then with 65 and older, is that something? Well, it's called the graying of divorce. Oh. Mm -hmm. hmm. Because in the boomer, there are all kinds of white papers written about okay. this now. I mean, this came on the horizon. I, don't, I can't pinpoint it exactly, but I've known about it for at least five years. Um, I guess because I do so much research mm -hmm. about divorce, but it is it is a huge thing. And because we've had so many boomer women come to Wildflower Group saying, I thought we were going to retire, mm -hmm. you know, because he told me there were all these assets, and I'm 55, mm -hmm. and there are no assets, mm -hmm. and what am I going to do? Where mm -hmm. am I going to go? We were talking about ageism earlier mm -hmm. as well. Wh how am I going to find a job at 55? How am I going to support myself? And the 65 plus tripling in the last so many years is, um, that's a statistic I read just a couple of weeks ago. Wow. wow. Which I was really mm -hmm. shocked by. And then you look at the statistic of how many women 75 plus live in poverty. Mm. It's off the charts. Mm. So that it's all, it all goes hand in hand. Can you mm -hmm. say more about the ageism that you've, ex that you, um, have been aware of within the process of the wildflowers and then the divorce because uh, we were talking about that before the show and it was super interesting. So, yeah, well, yeah. it is it is a um, it's a conversation that is becoming more prevalent mm -hmm. because I guess we have more women coming to us within this demographic, and we were also talking about how it's going hand in hand with the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. um, particularly in the workplace place women in their 60s, for example, that are taking on <coughs> a lot of inappropriate treatment and comments, <coughs> excuse me, from their superiors, for example, <coughs> excuse me, because they need this job, mm. because it is so much more difficult when you're 50 plus, so we were talking about it even being lower, the age group being lower than 50 plus, if you lose a job, where are you going to go to find another job? Who's going to hire you when you're 62? Mm. And so you're just taking on and struggling a little bit more with um, your appearance, you know, how you dress, how you act, that you have to give the appearance of youth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That that all comes into play in the in the work world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is, do you do you see any of that, Erin, in your th in your therapy practice? Uh, ageism. Yeah. Or um, um, I don't th I don't have a lot of older clients. Yeah. Um, I mean, we were talking about on a previous episode about how um, about getting older and aging and and turning forty as women because we're all around that age, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Essentially, <laughs> like when people's looks are currency, like is their currency, and yeah. so what? What is that like for people? Mm -hmm. But then I was saying it didn't really matter because it wasn't that hot in the first place. <laughs> <and so laughs> like, I don't experience that, but there's a lot of people that do experience oh, it. So I think it goes along so with funny. it goes along with the same conversation. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. Oh. Yes, <laughs> self deprecation. She's no, all I'm no, all set. But, but it's it's not like oh yeah I'm hideous yeah. whatever. It's just like I don't know what that's like because I have a beautiful oh, dog and I walk with her and people are like oh she's gorgeous <laughs> i love her and i'm like oh this is what it's like to be hot okay great yeah. she's, a, she she's a very beautiful dog it's beautiful <laughs> yeah. that's right so i have a little like secondhand experience yeah. it's great yeah where would we be yeah. without a sensation <laughs> yes exactly right. oh. yes well you know where this comes into play for your audience is thinking in terms of their parents mm -hmm. you know are their older relatives um, you know, kind of be a little understanding that this really is an issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ageism is an issue. Mm -hmm. and, and not just for women, for right. men as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Especially just with technology. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like even being 
in my 40s and thinking about people in their early 20s and the technological difference. I do think that that's a, that is a, with that comes up is people that are that have older clients and if they're in the tech industry or any yeah. sort of thing like that, then there is a lot of worry and concern, especially in tech. Yeah. 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 Because it's just like, I mean, I, I find it to be somewhat impossible to keep up with. I mean, oh, it's yeah. just like, uh, I think I need like a 24-year-old mm. to interview every week just mm-hmm. to check in. <laughs> or Anna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You're really good at it, Anna. Yeah. I can rely on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, let me yeah. tell you this thing that just went viral. Yeah. I explained yeah. that yes. uh, by yes. Felicia thing to you guys the other day. Do you remember that? By Felicia thing? Anyone? I do remember yeah. that. Never heard we that were, word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, you, she was telling you. I was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you got to take better notes on our I pop do. culture I internet. Do. Right. Yes. <laughs> Everything <laughs> pop culture. That's yeah. Anna. Yeah. This is also why you have children, Amy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, I know. just text it's my true. kids. Yes. It's true. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. And they mm-hmm. do. They really help out. In fact, a friend of mine just visited on Friday, and my son, who is uh, nine years old right now, he was saying he used the term vines. Mm-hmm. Videos, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. I didn't know, <laughs> I that, know that, and one. neither did my friend. And we were like, yeah, just look at the vines, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, there were a few things that he said that we were just like, oh, That's thank you. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to depend on you going forward. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He's yeah. tapped in. Tapped <laughs> in. Tapped in. Yes. So, uh, okay. So I'm just looking at our questions here quick. Are we good? Yeah. yeah. We're good. And one thing that, that I think, well, Would you talk a little bit about practical tips? So one thing we always like to do for our audience when we can is provide any kind of practical tip um, for anyone that they can use right Mm -hmm. away, you know, like in their daily life or just what, you know, and I think personally Mm -hmm. just knowing that wildflowers, that you are out there, we are Mm -hmm. out there, no one's alone, um, and the resources that you have to offer I think are tremendous. Is there anything that, with all your experience, whether someone is transitioning in life or um, going through divorce, maybe Mm -hmm. there's been a a death of a partner or, you know, they're widowed or whatever, you know, what would you say are some tips that you would give them in terms of real estate? Oh, in terms of real estate. Mm -hmm. Or just Um, in general. Is that what you were thinking? I think it's twofold. Okay. Yeah. We want all your tips. Yeah, all your tips. That's right. That's right. So first we're going to start with real estate. Yeah. And then your life tips. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wait, I thought you were going to say life tips. That's what I was saying. Okay. I was like, okay, we want to hear real estate tips. How about this, Joan? You decide. Yeah. Well, I'll start. Whatever tips you want to give out (laughs) us, Joan's (laughs) choice. I'll start with the real estate because that'll be really brief. Because the number one tip is don't do anything Hmm. unless you absolutely have to. Mm. Because particularly with the the death of a spouse. Mm. Um. It's just a time to kind of sit quietly, in a sense, and gather your support around you. But don't make any rash decisions in disposing of a property or purchasing a property when I call it not working on all cylinders. Mm, You're not making the right choices. And I see this a lot with my practice when I'm selling a home for a couple and they both want to buy and I'll you can kind of assess a situation that um, I would suggest you rent right now Mm -hmm. because you might make a choice that really isn't going to be the choice you want when things settle down Mm -hmm. in six months Mm -hmm. or a year and you have um, you have a better sense of what your financial position is going to be and your budget and this is a result of people saying to me okay the divorce is final you know I'm finding a house in Evergreen I'm going to the mountains well, I <laughs> think you might want to rent for a little bit because mm. whatever reason, I think it would just be a better choice for you. Mm. 
And they do, and they come back a year later, and they're going, oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm mm-hmm. heading downtown. Find me a place downtown. <laughs> so, you know, they're all over the map. So just don't make any large decisions that you're going to be locked into. And as far as just a, a beginning place for someone going through a divorce or any other um, transitional period, it's um, it's connecting with yourself and giving yourself permission to say, you know, I'm important in this, and I count too, particularly if there are kids involved. You know that analogy. The caretaker has to take care of the caretaker. Mm-hmm. You're on the plane. You're putting your mask on before you put your kid's mask on. Speaking my language, Joan. Mm -hmm. I love it. (laughs) Well, Mm -hmm. you can probably Mm -hmm. speak to this much better than I. But I just find that women don't value themselves Mm -hmm. because they're feeling less than because I filed for a divorce. My marriage failed. Not always. Sometimes it is a best thing to have happen for people to divorce, particularly for a lot of women where the women are going to be leaving this marriage and then getting into a safe place so um, just value yourself and we don't give ourselves permission to do that because we're nurturers and we're running around feeling guilty trying to take care of everybody Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. if you can do that then you're going to be making better calmer more informed decisions it takes a little bit to get there it's not going to happen overnight and as we were saying before we went on air some days you're going to be going man I got this I'm feeling my game I'm at the Mm -hmm. top of my game and three days later you just don't want to get out of bed Mm -hmm. and that's okay Mm -hmm. that's all part of the process it's Mm -hmm. fluid Mm -hmm. so understand that going Mm -hmm. into it and kind of cut yourself some slack Mm-hmm. What do you mm-hmm. say, Erin? That, that, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> well rounded answer, Joan. You got tears. Over there. You got no, tears. No. <laughs> <laughs> Always good tears, Joan. Yeah. Yep. Um, these are things that we should have asked you that are important to to note that we didn't get to. You guys are really good. You know, honestly, I've done a lot of interviews, but you guys are great. Oh, you thanks. ask great questions. I mean, are we your favorites? <laughs> 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 So, Joan, would you say we're like your favorite interviewers ever? Sure. Yes, you're sure. <laughs> favorite, most definitely. Well, I think you, I think you covered mm-hmm. it. It's just, um, just, yeah, I think you covered it. Um, you hit a lot of really great topics, and I think what you're doing is wonderful because, again, to go back to the beginning of all of this. People are so alone. Mm-hmm. I mean, loneliness is epidemic. Absolutely. It's not is. just the elderly. We've talked about that forever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we recognize that. But even for, you know, young people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, even for little kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You read how many children are on antidepressants. And, you know, and part of that is a lot of what's going on in the world right now. But we... We need one another, and this mm-hmm. is what you all are doing. You're yeah. helping mm-hmm. people to connect mm-hmm. and not feel so all alone. So I raise a glass mm-hmm. right. or water bottle. <laughs> Yay, Yay, coffee <laughs> cups. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joan. Well, it is well, the wait, question. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh okay. Question. So, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Tana. Tana. No. So we have oh, a buckle Tana. up. Tana. Totally, Anna does have a question. Totally yeah. random question, not having to do, do with divorce or real estate or anything that we talked about. Totally random. And we do this for every guest, and Aaron and I have no idea what Anna has come up with. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> They act like it's going to be terrible. Well, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes like, it's a little uh, shocking. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll be gentle. Yes. Yeah, yes like, this, <laughs> I think this is an easy one, maybe. Okay, so the question is, would you rather lose your left hand or your right foot? And why? Oh, mm. my left hand because I'm a runner. Oh, <gasps> that's me too, Joan. Oh, mm-hmm. well, right. I can't imagine what mm-hmm. I would do. So, yeah, that was an easy one. Do you yeah. want to ask me another? Okay, one? <laughs> yes. I, I actually have go. another one. I have there another one. I, I have one. <laughs> Great. I have two, just because I was going to choose between how the yeah, conversation went. <laughs> okay, so the second one is, uh, what have the last twelve months taught you? Oh, I like that. I do, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that is a really good question. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's taught me to celebrate mm. a little bit more. Um, and it's been a wonderful 12 months. 
mm. because of that. And it's taught me what I am espousing to everybody else that, you know what, I count. I need to really take care of myself a little bit more. What's your favorite way to celebrate? Travel. Yeah. Mm. What's your favorite place you've been to? Africa. Oh, oh awesome. my gosh, hands down. Mm. It was just Where did you go? Magical. Where in Africa? I went to Cape Town mm -hmm. for four days and then um, went on safari. Wow. <gasps> and just to be out with the animals. Mm -hmm. It was on the, on, you know, you watch movies where you're out of Africa, whatever, where you, s but to, to be, you know, three feet away mm. from an elephant or a, a whatever. I mean, they saw so many fabulous animals. But that, that was absolutely magic. <laughs> and the big mm. sun that you see that's oh. emblematic of Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those really are real. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> every morning and and every night. It's <laughs> just it's just spectacular. Mm. So yeah. Huh. It's awesome. Travel is it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well thank New you adventure. so much. Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> it's been my pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Whoa. You guys so are fun. something. <laughs> <laughs> We That's have a good time. time. <laughs> That's right. That's uh -huh. That's important. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's great. And we will uh, wrap it up here, I guess. Yeah. Right? And they can find <laughs> you the at you. Yeah. Yeah. Landing, Landing the plane. plane. So, Joan, Joan, they can find you at wildflowergroup.net <laughs> and yes. on your Facebook group. Is that right? Yes. Is it with the same name? Mm -hmm. That's okay. wildflowergroup.net, too. And my real estate uh, site is Rogliano Real Estate Group. Mm -hmm. Great. So awesome. Yeah, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, if anybody needs to get in touch, we're here for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not alone. And mm -hmm. we have we have some fun. We have lots of fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. We appreciate that. Yeah. Tremendous. Like it's I. That September event segment. was the best. In it 14 was years, so that great. was the best ever. And there were so many new people there. Yeah. Like you. It was mm -hmm. so great. I highly so highly glad. recommend so it. Glad you yeah. Came. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you so yes, much, Thank Joan. you, Joan. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to have martinis now? <laughs> <laughs>